you what you're doing. Two good guys. Up. Still up. Come. 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 Up. Up. Good, good girl. Up. I'm just out for a walk today with a wee dog. Done about six or seven k so far. Just taking a walk to the Demeinweg. It's uh, across the German Dutch border. Uh, just here to the left of me. Let's see if we can get in there and show you a bit more closer. You can see, excuse my fat fingers, this is one of the old trenches from World War II. And as we get further up the hill on the other side, there's a lot more, more clearly as well. See if she jumps in. <laughs> what are you doing, Stella? Oh, what's that? Oh. Badger hole. Now, there's a few of these all over the place. You find them all the time. Some from Big Badger. Zook! <laughs> Go and get it. <laughs> There's a couple of big koi carp in here as well, I've just seen. And a big grass carp here over the left hand side. I'm currently walking across what would have been at the time in World War II of what would be known as no man's land. And just here, in front of me, as you can see, the top of I've got a barbed wire fence here in front of me where I can't climb over. But this is one of the trenches from the Dutch resistance, when the Dutch were dug in here, waiting for the Germans to come down over the hill on the attack. And well, you won't see nothing because of all the trees, obviously. But about 200 metres up the top of the hill is where all the German trenches are. When I work my way up round, I'll, uh, I'll show you some of them. Done about 5k's now across no man's land.
and still going. And I'm hoping at the end, if I'm on the right path, there should be a monument here. Saying, well, I'll explain when I get there. Well, folks, I think this is it. I've covered about five, six kilometres down this pathway, or down this track, <laughs> to, uh, to show you this. Well, guys, I'm here. I had to cut the phone off then for a few minutes. It was uh, an elderly couple, kind of a very old couple. I didn't want to be in any way like disrespectful to people filming and talking about it. But it says here that uh, the citizens, yeah, these citizens were executed by the command of the German army, uh, and their bodies were found in 19. Well, they were executed in 1943, and the bodies were found. In 1947, in August 1947, they were uh, found and then repositioned and put in the graveyard in Romond in September 1947. The three citizens come from the city, the town of Romond, which is about five miles in that direction behind them trees. Yeah. Anyway. And yeah, I think the Dutch didn't really have an army. All they had were the resistance, and these were the citizens that uh, were asked to come and fight and to hold the line. Really, this is this here's. I'm actually walking across here. What would have been here, the Western Front during the war. Anyway, got to go all the way back again now. <laughs> About six k's in this direction. Back up over the hill, then the next hill. There's about four or five hills and big hills to get back up to the car. I hope you enjoy. Here's something to keep in mind, guys, when you're out walking through the forest. As I was walking down to go to the monument, this uh, this deadfall fell at a tree above me, about five to six meters in front of me as I was coming down. Just always remember to keep an eye out and keep your head up. There's more of it there. The tree's full of it. Uh, sorry I'm being quiet folks, I'm just thinking about them three soldiers that have been executed down there for basically trying to defend themselves. I mean there wasn't a great deal of fighting that went on on this side of the country at the time. You know, there was a lot further into Holland and Antwerp, Eindhoven and stuff like that. But here there was, there was a bit but there wasn't a great deal. Uh, the sign reads, Protected Nature Reserve, 
please don't leave the pathways and don't throw anything away, rubbish and stuff. And keep your dog on the lead at all times. And that's how you're protecting the, the nature. Anyway, onwards and upwards, up the hill again. <laughs> Not a sound other than the noise of the birds and the sound of birds. Wonderful. We've just had a few drops of rain then as well. And uh, <laughs> it's going really grand overcast, and I just had a rumble of thunder then. It was nice and sunny when I came out this morning. Weather was supposed to be nice today. Just didn't bring no waterproof jacket or nothing with me. <laughs> but take it as it comes. Don't let it get you down. So, for a reason. Whoa, that shell's long. Doesn't look like nothing on camera, it looks flat. <laughs> We're going up real steep height now. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Oh, there's one on this side of me as well. Here's one of the, uh, the German trenches. See if we can get down. Come here. And then under the trees. Uh. Oi, oh, it's slidey. A lot of rotten debris. Yeah, this is one of the trenches. There's a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, down here. It's an old oil drum or an oil cast, a petrol can or whatever that is here. Oi. Looks like it's been there for about 80 years as well. Yeah, let's see if I can back up again. Up, up. Oh, come on, up. I mean, you gotta remember, even the German army, they were old men and kids. And None of them wanted to be there either. Oh, dog's caught up in a lead. There you go. Come. So you get over this side. Come here. Yeah, here's another trench that the German army had been dug into. Sitting here just waiting. Just waiting. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, I mean, the German army, they were made up of young young kids, young boys mostly, and uh, an old men. And none of them volunteered for it, you know what I mean? They were also doing it against their will. I don't, can't imagine anybody volunteering for it, really. Yeah. I mean, obviously those countries have been attacked. You know what I mean? I understand that people volunteer to protect the country. Absolutely. But, uh, no, all them people, hundreds, millions killed for no reason. I was just walking through here, it makes you think about it all, right? I wouldn't want to be sitting, for example, here's another one. 
in one of these little trenches or a foxhole or anything. Well, yeah, doesn't matter of fact. <laughs> Especially when it's winter. Well, folks, let's go up over this hill. I should be back to the car. Been running there for about 20 minutes. Well, that's alright, it's nice and refreshing. It's cooled the yard down a bit. It's been quite nice today. It's been about 18 degrees Celsius. So, uh, one last look. There's some kind of a hut thing in the back there. Just seen. But I think it's for uh, people doing like rambling, orienteering, or something like the toilet and look like. Yeah, it's all locked up at the minute, but there's like a little shop there where you can buy like, I don't know, like a snack and something to drink and stuff like that. Still has finished off a small tree root by the looks of it. I wouldn't so much call it a stick. <laughs> yeah. You can see it there. It's my car over there in the distance. Yeah, I'm driving my Ford Focus again now. My, uh, the black Hyundai Santa Fe that I had. Uh, ripped the time and belt two weeks before Christmas. Destroyed the engine on the motorway. The highway. So, unfortunately I've had to scrap it. And I'm back to my Focus until I can find something new, something bigger. Yeah. But the little Focus is alright. You know, I've had it for a while. Oh, three years or something now. Still runs fine, no problems. Well guys, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. It was a, an unplanned video, I hadn't planned on making a video today. I've just filmed everything on my phone on little shorts videos and I'll add them all together later on. To make the complete video with it <laughs> but uh yeah it's been a nice day out well guys my phone rang then so i had to cut it off <laughs> yeah thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed hope you're all keep, keep them well staying safe and uh other than the noise in the motorway now i'd say it's been a lot more quiet on the western front in europe today as it has been on the eastern front it's uh but Inflation here is through the roof. You know, I mean, energy prices are hanging all through the roof. Madness, madness, what's going on? You know, I know those guys in America. You're all suffering the same. We're all suffering all over the world. Everyone's the same. All suffering with the same shit. Excuse my French, but we all know it's been manipulated. And uh, hi, stay well, stay safe, folks. Up, up. Come on, up you get. Up. Come on, up you get. Up, up. Good job. See you later. <laughs>